Knoxville, welcome to Jackie. Like everything's just ten times better when you do it naked. It's just funnier. And <laughs> I love you. How are you guys doing? Olivier, voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Ça va? Yeah. Ça va bien? <laughs> Ça va yeah. bien. Uh, Olivier is a very good-looking young man. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so we call guys like you otters. <laughs> otters. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, hey, if, can, can you lift up your shirt and show us how much hair you have on your chest? I, I don't have much hair, so I, I rather that's ask. Good. I rather that's good. That's good. That, that, that's that, that, like an otter. It's great. <laughs> 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 so about Jackass Forever, we man said this one hurt the most. Do you agree with that or? I, I agree with it. I mean, I, I had my most serious injuries on this film. I think that is because as we get older, our bones break more easily. And, <laughs> and when we hit our head, it, it, we become uh, unconscious more easily for hitting our head. You still got those million dollar teeth, that's for sure. <laughs> In this movie, you see more people uh, knocked unconscious and breaking bones. And um, those are things that do hurt. So Wee Man is right. Is, is this really the last movie, like Johnny Knoxville said? You know, I got to correct you there. And I, I don't understand why everybody thinks it's been said that this was the last movie. But the truth is that each one of the movies before this one, Knoxville said it would be the last. And Jackass Forever is actually the very first Jackass movie, which Knoxville has not said it will be the last. What Knoxville did say is that this is the last movie he's going to risk his life for. And thank God that's the truth because I, I don't want to see Knoxville with any more bulls, with any more concussions. Concussions aren't great, but as long as you have them before you're 50, it's cool. And Knoxville's 49, so we're good. Oh! always been a lot of dick stunts in Jackass and even more in this movie. Hi, my name's Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb Game. Oh, I'm, well, I'm sorry, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Is there one you're the most proudest, proudest of? <laughs> oh God, that's a good question. You know what? I, th I think that, that of all the dick stuff that I've ever done, I think the intro to the movie is, it's not just my proudest dick moment. I think it's my proudest on-screen moment ever. And I, I think that so far that's the pinnacle of my career. I just love it, like, and not just because it's my dick. Like, I just think, <laughs> I just think it's the funniest idea. It, it was, it was supposed to just be a bit um, without without um, all the other guys in it. And then when they when we set it up and, and had the monster coming out into into the city, everyone Knoxville and um, Tremaine Jeff Tremaine. The director and Spike Jones were just like, this is too funny. We got to make this the, the opener of the movie. And uh, so, yeah, that's the probably the proudest dick moment I've had. And I've had a lot of proud dick moments, <laughs> both on and off camera. <laughs> Does your family see the Jackass movies and maybe your parents? How do they react? I think I think our parents are really proud. Um, I mean, sometimes when you know, like my if my mom's watching it beside me for the first time, she'll be like, "Chris," you know. But but like I kind of I did all that stuff when I was a little. You know, I ran around naked as a little boy. Me and my brother had this game called Naked Natives where we'd run around with just our belts on, and we'd like when like a friend's mom would come over to like pick them up at school, we'd like jump on her back and like we were wild animals. And uh, so I've been doing it my whole life. And when we when we first started making, you know, when you're in high school making videos with your friends with a video camera, we I realized like everything's just ten times better when you do it naked. It's just funnier. And <laughs> so left not so long ago, Steve O, you attached yourself to a Hollywood billboard for the release of your movie. 
Uh, yeah, long, it was that. Uh, how long did you stay there? It, it, it was for a, a comedy special that I had made myself, and I was on the billboard for just about two hours, but it was a very effective um, promotion. For the money I spent to buy that billboard, I got the most value out of anybody who ever bought a billboard, maybe. <laughs> My time is up. Well, merci beaucoup. There was merci. Thank you. Yeah. I love all the I love the Godzilla movies, like with yeah. Godzilla just tearing up Tokyo. May, maybe there'll be a spin-off movie of it, a Pontiosaurus. <laughs> I think the kids would love it. That, that'll be great. <laughs> <laughs>